All right then, folks. How to draw Zoidberg from Futurama? You can see I pencil sketched it just to make life easier for me. But it is six o'clock in the morning, so let's give it a go. I'm going to start with his eyes, which is two circles, so you could find something to draw around. Circle one. Circle two. All right. One's a bit bigger than the other. That doesn't matter. I can live with that. Right, his horrible looking mouth bit is just four sausages, really. Going down the ways. Use the pause button if you need it. And that sausage comes down off the corner of his eye like that. Okay, simple so far. His mouth's going to be easy. Because you can only see that wee bit. So your brows are up in the air a bit because he always looks a bit surprised. There you go, there's his face finished. Hardest bit, like all that Simpsons sort of art, is getting the shape of his head right. Because it's like a big, a horrible leaning blob. Like that. Might take a few goes to get that one. That took me a few tries. His jacket's pretty easy. A curvy V shape there, because he's a bit on the chubby side and he's always bursting out of his lab coat. Funny looking collar. Right. When you draw his jacket, it's all great big round blob shapes. Okay, now this is the most important bit. You've got to go one curve, two curves, three curves, like that, for that bit. You'll see why in a second. He's got a pocket there. Okay. And that's one arm. His other arm Okay, nothing hard so far Right then, remember those curves here? One button in the middle One button in the middle One button in the middle That's what shows that he's bursting out of his shirt Let's Put some stretch marks on there as well There he is, starting to look like him now. Right, his hands are quite tricky, but if you draw an egg shape first with a pencil, and inside the egg we've got a short claw and a long claw, just like that. This one's the same, start with an egg shape. Everything starts with an egg shape really. Two claws. All right, they were getting there. So his legs are about the same size as his head. So if you measure his head, you measure where his legs are gonna be. It's a lot shorter than his body. So measure the head down to there, and that's how long his legs are gonna be. Drawing both at the same time is a lot easier than doing them one at a time. Okay, and the bottom of his trousers curved down like that. All right, I'll drink a tea while you catch up. Okay, lobster feet. Start with an egg shape again. One toe, 
two toes. I'm going to miss a bit out there because we're only sand those straps to go over. Thick on that side, thin on that side. Thick on that side, thin on that side. You just put the bottom of his flip flops on. Boom. Same with this one. One toe, two toes. Straps. Okay. Right, that took six minutes and you've got all day. So take your time, give it a shot. Uh, look at the colour one. I'll post it up on Google Classroom and uh, try and enjoy it and post me your results. Speak to you later.